Welcome to Kathy D. Slats, SRC for you Zoom call for November 3rd, 2021. We're here on Kathy's website, kathydslat.com. We will scroll down and look for the Zoom banner. Kathy's SRC for you Zoom calls are Monday through Friday starting at 10 a.m. If you would like to be part of the SRC for you Daily Energy Clearing Group, all the information is here. We're here on the Zoom banner. We're going to click to where it says click here. This will take us over to the Zoom platform where I will enter and please adjust your speakers accordingly. Okay, so hi everybody. Here we are at 10 o'clock. Uh, Kevin downloaded the new update this morning here uh, and yesterday on the other computer, so I got to play around with it. It's very powerful. And uh, what we're gonna what we're gonna do here so you know i guess we can go up here to our updater and do it or give kevin a call if he has time and uh we went ahead and started kevin and i just the group just uh with a sim and i chose yellow by the way for the color because it represents intelligence at least to me i figure i can use all of that i can get and uh so you see we haven't optimized it or anything we just put client group hit wonder click and um what i have been doing because of the power of this update is um starting out with the wonder click and then i go ahead and stop it and go through and test go through and test to see if any of these would like an extra charge because this for me anyway this this charger thing i i tend to ignore if i don't do that first thing and look at all the charges we want today and so uh, absorption, flora, muscles, immune, blood, lymph, sweat glands, spleen, depression, nerves, pineal, damage. So what you can do, most of these, uh, there, there's a, uh, most of these you can go in and find the right block. You don't have to go to a lot of trouble. But I, I have put in the, um, some lists of things, and I sent, I'll send these out from time to time. Like you go in, for example, to bone and there's a whole list. You don't know what to choose, but you can't go wrong with the right block for those. If, if there's in there, you don't have to put a lot of, okay, well, where's our absorption? I guess I have that in the other computer. I'll have to add that. But that's, that's an area of stress, as you can see for us, Laura. just go up here to the far right let's just go right here now you have an option obviously just to go ahead and hit any of these timers based on your own intuition or and there's a reason for this you can go in and see how long you want with the thought being that if even up to five minutes isn't enough you might want to put a little bit more emphasis on that one let's just see for example here and then just go back and forth okay just one minute so we go back and forth through the day and do these charges you can see we have quite a list and then when we went in then to see if we wanted anything further than just the uh wonder click we do today we wanted the deeper scan and we wanted uh, actually chinese acupuncture and then the zero, I did an Excel spreadsheet here, is gout. And what's interesting is that uh, gout can lead to erosion of the bones. So um, with the, and this is right here, the, the list you have in your um, uh, P4 of the Chinese acupuncture charges. So you've got all this in here. And we see actually we want to uh, focus at this time on gout. And we actually want 27 days. So I, I'll have to talk with Kevin and get that set up on the uh, scheduler. But meanwhile, let's just put that in here, gout. And if you get a chance, go in and do a little reading because remember the 
primary work is being done by your own CPU, your brain, and you want to know what's involved here, if you have any symptoms of this, etc., etc., etc. Just put that in here. There we go. So we've got that loaded up, and we're actually ready now. We let's see what Pro Tools we want. We're really focused on our dietary, and so this this is where we're going with all this today. And again, it doesn't have to be complicated. See some lung stress there, although we didn't ask for any extra energy in the charger for that. And you can just start out with auto and go back and forth if you choose. If you do that scan, it's got a lot of, you can make a list of your own supplements and do a scan and see what else is involved. Premium we've got going, elemental scanner, acupuncture. So we'll go, let's go back and forth with some of these as we go. Let's right now though, just go into the dispenser. And let's go ahead and go with bones since gout is tied into that. And you see, we did ask for some charges on lymph as well. So, and we see that appearing here. 15 minutes with 29 repeats. But then, um, I think you know, I sent out a note last night. Um, Ralph is going to go over the, the, the um, Tree of Life tomorrow with us. And uh, it's an interesting reading. I've been, it's, it's not my style of reading as much, but I've been skimming some of those books on uh, Scribe, just seeing what I could learn. And because uh, that's not an area I've ever looked at too closely. So but what it looks like, you know, what started all this was that um, the bones, some people believe that the bones relate to our tree of life. And of course it is, the tree of life is our structure, our support, et cetera. And some even believe that we may be seeing this bone stress because our very support system in, in our life, based on perhaps uh, this so-called pandemic, et cetera, feels threatened. This is, could all be on a subconscious level. But some of the things I'm picking up, and we're going to just douse in and look at from what I've read so far, the big deal is that we have free will and choice, which we can use in a beneficial or non-beneficial way, that's that's part of the deal. I still, I'm the more I learn, the more I think we're playing a reality game. And we, we haven't figured that out. But if you go in here, let's just look at some of these things. Okay, so there we go. And it's interesting, let's scoot down here a minute. This is, um, many believe that we have been under a form of mass hypnosis. And of course, look here, I found a code for it. Block of mass hypnosis engineered by the leaders of the masses. What the heck, let's just see how we look with that. We know it's possible, we've read about it, we know how the brain works. Okay, let's just 
amp that up. We're looking to dehypnotize. So why is it a good thing? Why is what a good thing? Because, yeah, the, code, because. the code, yeah, the code is a good thing. See, those are healing numbers. So okay. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. The number. okay. Yeah, yeah, the code. You want to focus on the code. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you for asking. I need to always mention that. Okay. See, we're as a group. I don't think we quite are in that hive mentality, or we wouldn't even be in the group. And then this is an interesting one: remove and transmute group hypnosis to five twenty-eight hertz. And um, of course, they call that the miracle frequency. It's love. And again, I think we're looking pretty good here. But you look at now, uh, if it is true that we are hypnotized about this uh, so called vaccine and virus. This wouldn't be the first time this has happened in our world. Uh, it happened in Hitler's time. It happened in Stalin's. Uh, and the people went right along with all of that stuff till they got to the very end of it and said, oh, oh. they realized uh, what had really happened. And it was at that point a little bit of a, you know, a little bit too late. But this is apparently the uh, what makes us most vulnerable, any kind of mind control, socially isolated, no particular mission. They did some kind of a study and found that most people, they just get through their work day. They have no interest in what they're doing. Free floating anxiety and then frustration. And what happens with that is that um, something new comes along and everybody bounds to get, binds together in a new herd type mentality. And we could go in here. Let's just see what we've got. Let's just go into the elemental scanner. As you know, you've got a platform for anything you want to do with this software. Let's just try it. Let's do the issue, and that would be negative. Let's just see what we've got. A little bit of stress to the fire element. Great deal of stress to the earth element, which, by the way, is coming up so often in our scans, the stomach spleen energy. And I'm speaking just as a lay person. I think there's plenty of people on this call that have a lot more knowledge in this area. But you're getting information. The software is programmed to do some balancing. Go ahead and come back. We've got more information. So that, that what I was reading, the media sends a message to cause anxiety and then offers a way to deal with it. And that dealing with it makes people feel connected again. Uh, it's compared to a form of mental intoxication, the killing of the mind. Then they make a, a point also that hypnosis works best through the voice. So when we're listening to these things, uh, there probably is an actual impetus and then this right here, this megalomania, they say we've been wondering if we're dealing with psychopathy. That may not be it. It may be this megalomania, whereas they feel, certain people feel they are superior and that they are able to make these decisions for the masses. And again, going back to Hitler and Stalin, same thing happened. Same thing happened for uh, people for the most part, followed these people, these people were probably sincere in what they were doing. And uh, they really believed they were doing the right thing. But of course, we see history shows us it didn't work out so well. So anyway, going on back down here. The point being and grief. All right. Point being, you can't have the free will choice when you're under a state of hypnosis. Gold was used a lot, as I'm just reading the very basics on this tree of life. There seems to be gold energy involved, and you can't ever go wrong with with uh, putting a little extra energy or an image for gold. 
it's such a high voltage. Let's put it in here. And there we go. Uh, this again to the mission. So here's a statement I now connect with my higher purpose. A little bit of let's just go ahead and put that in the shin. You know, interesting enough that you talk about this kind of thing. I was a little uncomfortable starting to read some of the work uh, that came up in my scan from the scribed books because there was a little information on Aleister Crowley, which of course we know as the beast and the 666. But um, I looked up a little bit more information on him, and interestingly enough. Uh, I don't know who else has done this already, but Aleister Crowley actually grew up in a home where they were probably what we would call religious fanatics. And he actually uh, was studying to be a minister himself, a minister, a priest, I don't know which, but became ill. And uh, that experience, he went to stay with a relative in the country and he had got to actually have a little fun, I guess, in his home life. Fun was a sin. and it. it sent him to the other side. And, but one of the things he was doing up here, he was use, utilizing his free will and choice, but the thing of, it didn't work out so well for him. Uh, he ended up, he, he came from a wealthy family. When his parents passed, he was very wealthy. That gave him the freedom, I guess, to be so well known. But uh, the result of it is he blew all his money and he was a heroin addict. And a lot of people thought that's where it ended, but that is not where it ended. When he ran out of all his money, uh, he decided to sue this company that had called him a black magician. And he lost that because he had called himself a black magician in his books himself, so he lost that. But when he was walking out of the courthouse, a woman approached him and told him she was in love with him and would like to have his child. And because he was such a, in such a down and out state, he actually accompanied her to her home. She helped him get off the heroin, and they ended up having a son. And he ended up saying that the true mastery was love of family. So it's an interesting end to the story, uh, of which I still know very little about. But he did. He utilized, you, I guess that's what happens. You have the free will, but then you get to see how it worked out. And it's not working out so well, you might want to take a different path. Um, spiritual connection, you know, we are part of what may be an infinite matrix of information. And we can add some of that. Connect with God. There is, they say, a special energy to the word God. And, and some people want to say source or whatever. But apparently, and we're going to get in more in, in coming weeks to the power of the word as to your own language. And certain words do have a higher voltage than others. We are said to have uh, the energy of God in our own being, that spark of that ability to create. And this was an interesting theme in, in one of the things I was reading, is that we have to acknowledge our own darkness. We've all got it. It's duality, it's there, and we have to look at it.
So we have to be open to that. This is probably the idea behind not judging because we all have a little of that stuff in us. <laughs> and so look within. And use a little extra reinforcement. This is a good one, healing and regenerating strength and prosperity. And this one might not be, we could take a little. Amp up, maybe. This might be one. Let's just test it. Look at that, 97% benefit right here. And, and those of you, I don't know who we've got that isn't familiar with this thought, but about six months ago now, I got an email from a guy in India who says they're chanting the grab a boy. And, and a few of us here are now doing that. It seems to be very powerful. You could just as a thought, text yourself with this number when you're driving, which puts you in alpha most of the time. And then repeat this code to yourself. It falls right into the category of what can it hurt. These are just all ideas I'm getting as I read through these books. And it'll be interesting to see what Ralph has to say. Now this in the neg negligence of spiritual affairs, which seems to be a priority with working with ideas like the tree of life. And again, it goes back also as Bruce Lipton explains that one of the great myths that we live by is that it's all physical. We got this from Newton and it's all matter and that's not true. Matter is just 0.1%. And this spiritual energy is 99, whatever you want to call it, the unseen 99.9. The ability to see, right? what's in front of you, that vision and then spiritual vision. Just again, as I read, I just, so often there are these interesting codes to whoever's working with the grab a boy codes keeps up with it.
This is key also not to be a part of the herd. That one we still was such a very mass hypnosis not to be ostracized because you know they're like being part of the herd what about the herd that doesn't want the vaccines yeah and that that's what's interesting i got a, a code for that <laughs> um, <laughs> we're not you, part of a herd then we're not part of that so. well but interestingly enough that can become a herd and you can get in as much trouble if, if i can make sense out of this from what i'm seeing you can get in as much stress being a part of that group also I don't know the answer. I'll show you uh, down at the very bottom one code that might be the way to look at it. But um, I, I guess that's the point I'd like to make. Anybody, anybody watch the Hunger Games or read the Hunger Games? I, I myself. Yes, I did. Yeah, I definitely yeah. did. Yeah. I watched every one of them. Yeah. yeah. My daughter, uh, the Hunger Games. And it was a movie, but it was yeah. also a book series of books and it's kind of funny I haven't read anything in years that I just didn't want to put down that book I did not want to put down and, and of course my daughter said mom I think this is a book you'd like she gave me the first version somebody had loaned it to her what were there three or there were four I can't remember and I read it so fast that when I was ready for that last version she wasn't ready to let it go and she was out socially and I went in her house and got it she got over and said, you stole my book. But that was such a thought-provoking book. And I don't know if you remember that last part or not, where uh, the, the leader of the rebellion was becoming as evil as the original guy. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah, so there's something. Oh, yeah. it's, just, it's just worth thinking about. I don't have any answers. I'm just telling you. But here is an interesting this was uh, written out in one of these things on the Tree of Life, and I never code for it, so I thought, let's add it. End the inner lethargy, chaos, and disintegration of all that formerly was held to be ideal and sacred. Look what we've done to the family. Look what Aleister Crowley discovered at the end of his life, what's really important, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's just worth thinking about it. It's those neurons maybe to move in a little closer. Let's see where we are with that. Yeah. No longer ruled by others' thoughts and expectations. That can be a tough one. Because again, this is this is nothing to do with media programming. This is our human system and the, the fear of being cut out. And sometimes you just can't live by other people's decisions. They're not appropriate for you. And that one, that's, you see again, that there's some stress related to that. Let's go ahead and put it in the shin. Okay, now here we're getting probably the weirdest we're gonna get for today. Um, I got to another book on the power of the word as um, referenced by some of the work John D. did, and he was a powerful magician. I'm just skimming it. But one of the things mentioned in the very beginning of this book, they looked at something called the gates of the four watchtowers. And the gates of the four watchtowers never opened except from the inside. In other words, your free will can open this, which then allows what they consider to be the ultimate destruction. They call it the great dragon. And I thought, what the heck? And I found the code for it. So in other words, if anything's going to undo us, it's going to be us doing it to ourselves. Because whatever that symbolizes, I'm not going to probably go into great detail with this kind of thing. But whatever that symbolizes, it's talking about our own self-destruction. So you see, we're, we're 
a little bit stressed with that. I'm probably going to clear that. I'm not going to put it as a part of the group. But for those of you willing to think about that kind of thing, it, it's worth thinking about. A few other things um, that they talk about with the Tree of Life, divine heritage, spiritual integrity, contact with reality, clear satisfaction. And uh, it was said somewhere in there that the house on sand is when you don't find your answers on your own. You're just letting everybody else do that for you. Kathy, can you yeah. can you go over that watchtower uh, second? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, um, that, that's in this book. Uh, I think it's called The Power of the Word when I did my own scan of those books. Uh, and that was tedious reading for me. By the way, it's not my style of reading. But um, when you got into the power of the word, you, you, what they're talking about is the great power of certain words. Uh, the Hebrew version of the name of God, for example, they're talking about Solomon built his temples with these words, et cetera, et cetera. And then they go into some other symbolism. And one of the things they mention is the protective guardian gates of the four watchtowers. This is what was set in place to always keep us protected. And the only way those doors can be open is from the inside, which means we would have to do it to ourselves. And then it says that lets the great dragon in, which I'm going to guess is Satan. Okay. So it's, I, it sounds like it's not a good thing to open the gates. You don't know. It's not a good thing. That leads to your destruction. And this they mentioned. Uh, what's called the apocalypse, what so many people talk about. And they say, we don't have to have that. We don't have to ever have that, but we do not want to open these gates, which would have to be done by us. This cannot be opened from the outside. This dragon can't get in there. We have to invite. And, and so this uh, rabbi boy number is, is reinforcing the protection. You got it. You got it. Now, when I put it in last night, I was working with it, and it was a 96% benefit. Mm. So, yeah, I would say uh, for those that are receptive to this kind of information, I wanted to share it. Thank you. And so what happens down here, one last thing. This looks like the whole solution to me. Loving compact and right here need a third approach. In other words, we don't want one herd on one side, one herd on another side. Uh, loving, compassionate, rational thinking is now the mind state of the collective. Wouldn't that be something? And might that be where we could all be and then everything just falls into place? I don't know. But there was a code for it. Let's just put that in the shim as well. Might that one be a good one for the mediator? I think that would. Let's. And by the way, um, I did take the mediator down, but um, I'm going to continue to work on this clear statement. However, we did clear. We did uninstall it in the um, the uh, yes there yesterday as Ralph suggested. Let's go in here to this mediator. back in a minute Let's see where we are with our elemental scanner a7 repeats and there is this social isolation stuff um, I don't know if you all saw the latest study we are more likely to get the virus from those who have been vaccinated it's very interesting and uh, much of the information we've been given is not accurate. You have to really dig deep. But this clear, we are becoming a nation of sissies and hypochondriates and self-medicating society, easily intimidated by pain and prone to panic. We understand almost nothing. 
about the essential robustness of the human body or its ability to meet the challenge of illness. We're in the process of clearing that, at least as a group, where we realize the power we have to self-heal. Okay, so see, we're not quite, you see here, we're at the very surface, the very acute, and we're not quite there. We've got it in favor, 7.28, but over here, 9.996. It's going to take 28 minutes. We can go back and forth and make work on that as well yourself. Go quickly down this list. All subtle. I can't get that. And this, if you go down this list, you can then check to see what needs further energy. Uh, and sometimes I'm stuck here. All right. Yeah, that may not work out so well. And this damp is a theme as well. We've got some good cocktails. If you test, it wasn't a priority for us today. The wonder click, this is powerful work as are the uh, Pro Tools. And in going down, you see what we're addressing this moment in time. Look at this. No amount of darkness can hide a spark of light. You will never win an argument concerning religion. That's interesting. But <laughs> probably that can extend to politics. And then you see SAR codes and, and resistance factor damage. And if you like, when you see these things, you can go in. You don't have to focus on just the Pro Tool. Selector. I'm taking nine hours. And we're wanting to preserve some options here for a start. Let's do that, and we're good to go. And you'll want to click Exit Cancel on the theme box that opens. How do I do that? Far <laughs> oh, duh. Okay, thank you, Kevin. I didn't know that. While while you're there, can you walk us quickly through the scheduler? Sure. Uh, because we know from the Chinese acupuncture scan, we want 27 days of this... Uh, Gout. Okay, so. Okay, we're going to leave the theme box empty. So what okay. you're going to do here is you're going to put in your group. And then um, click inside that name box and then arrow over to the right. Close. Click inside the name box. The name box. My on. client group. Oh, okay, yeah, click. click. There. Now arrow over to the right and space. And now enter the filter. Enter the filter, the gout? Yeah. Oh, this down here? Yeah, no, no, no. Gout, okay. Just type it in there. Okay. All right, now hit enter. And now go to the time. 
that you wanted to start? Okay. Eight. Time. Okay. So maybe eleven thirty-eight. Do you want to be AM or PM? AM is good. Okay, and then select the the sequence. And, and the number of repeats, uh -huh. and then add event to schedule. That should be it. Thank you. Add okay. event. There you go. All right, there we go. I don't see it. Is it in there? You clicked on new event, Kathy, instead of add event to the very far right. So you have to put okay, it back it, in again. It did say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Click on new event first. Yeah, because it did say add event when I clicked it. Yeah, you just went to the left instead of the right when you did that last click. Mm -hmm. Get in there. Click, in, yeah, click inside the box. Use your arrow keys. Yeah. See this? I don't know why I have. Space. Space. See this? I don't know why I have such a mental block with this one. Is why I wanted you to walk because when I put my cursor in there, there we go. Okay. We've got and hit ball. enter. Hit the enter key. All right, and then change the time. Okay. Select the repeat sequence. Right. But then down here, it's still repeats. says. repeats. Right. Get, get into it. And then add event. Oh, it, oh add event. Oh, duh. Okay. All right, we're good. Anything else? There you go. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Take care. Thanks, Kelly. Bye-bye. This concludes the SRC for You Zoom call for November 3rd, 2021. We look forward to seeing you again. Till then, take care and be well.